What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Crusader the Designer here bringing you a video about a question I've been getting asked all day. Um, I wish I could have uploaded this sooner, but based off my schedule and how it's set up with Streamer House, I have to upload this really late, but it is the quest line for the sleeper stimulant. Questions like, how do I get it? What do, what are the codes for the, uh, the curious transmitter? And all their stuff like that. But um, to first start off, First, you need to um, you need to uh, have all four of the fusion rifles that you collect randomly that you turn into the gunsmith for reputation for about 200, 250 reputation. You need to have collected four of those. Um, this is what the community is assuming right now. Bungie has tweeted that there are prerequisites for this quest, but if it's available, then go ahead, take your time because it will not go away. Um, you do not need to rush home or rush home from work or school or anything like that to uh, to do it. It will stay there. But what those prerequisites are is not really clear. But the community has has concluded that it is the four fusion rifles that you randomly collect from doing bounty strikes or uh, story missions. In the first mission, you'll be fighting against Rasputin in the War Mind, and you'll just be going off against a bunch of knights, Taken and Hive. Um, they'll be shooting fire and huge boomerangs at you, and at, in the end, you'll fight a larger knight who's pretty much a pushover. You can solo this. If I can solo this, anybody can solo this. It's not that all that difficult. Raid shotgun helped out a lot on this mission, but once you do beat it, you'll receive an item called the Curious Transmitter. Now, up next, on the Curious Transceiver, I mean, I know I messed up, you have to enter four sets of code sequences to uh, unlock it and I will show the code sequences on screen right now for you guys. Here is the first code sequence. Here's the second code sequence. Here's the third sequence. And lastly the fourth sequence. The next step is to complete another story mission on Earth called Shadow Call, where you have to race to the top of the tower. You are not obligated to fight any adds. The only enemies you are required to defeat are the three witches at the top of the tower after uh, looting the chests. After that, your next quest steps will have you finding and completing public event war sats on Mars, Earth, and Moon. You will have to complete the archive story mission on Venus on Heroic, and you will have to break down a legendary heavy weapon to complete the, uh, or to repair the fusion core. Keep in mind you can use a gear one heavy, so if you have something sitting around in your vault, break it down, it will go towards the, uh, the quest steps. Everything is pretty easy, but the war sat on Mars is proven to be, uh, a real pain in the ass but um that's pretty much it guys once you complete it you can turn it into the gunsmith and then he says that he'll work on it and he'll show it to the other factions and then he'll show us a real gun and stuff like that so everybody's under the assumption that this means that we'll have to wait till the next arms day to see what happens but that's basically what you have to do for the sleeper simulant <laughs> quest and we'll just have to wait and see. Just play the waiting game now. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I look forward to making the next video for you guys. Have a great day. And have fun.